Well, hey everybody, Backyard Scrapping here, and welcome to part three of New Preppers Refine. Um, this is actually, I'm actually filtering off the uh, powder from the BGA chips. Um, this is a slow filter paper. And as you can see, we did get a drop, but it was very, very, very fine powder. Um, I would have thought it would have been a little more clumped up because, uh, you know, there should really have only been bond wires left in there. But anyway, uh, I'm guesstimating I can see some other little contaminants just by the color. So I'm, what I'm going to do is go ahead and filter this off. Um, then we're going to put it in our little covered guy here, the filter paper. We're going to burn it off. We're going to see what we get out of it. Uh, then, as you can see, well, let me see if it's stopped now. No, it's actually starting to rain again. So I've had to have that covered for the last two days because of the rain. So needless to say, we have not been able to work on that because they are not quite finished. But I'll do as I did in the last one. I'll go ahead and melt this up. I'm hoping we at least get between a half and three quarters of a gram. That's what I'm guesstimating off of those uh, chips. So that'll be nice. I mean, actually three quarters of a gram would be more along the lines of what I'm looking for. I'll be happy with a half. Um, and then I'm, you know, whatever we're gonna get out of that, but I will melt these together. You know, I'll melt these buttons together after I get it all done and uh, do a weight, and then I'll take my end out of that button. Then I will actually hammer their ha hammer it out again and uh, purify it. I'm thinking if the, I'm thinking the contaminant of this might actually be palladium. I'll know when I melt it because if it sparks a little bit, there's actually a little bit of palladium in it. And just quickly, guys, one more thing. I just wanted to show you that that powder must have been tin. It had to be tin chloride or lead chloride. Uh, it's not silver chloride because even though it's cloudy, the ultraviolet light still would have gotten through. You can see the filter paper is still white. If it was silver chloride, it would have turned purple. So anyhow, just junk. <laughs> so I just wanted to let you go or uh, let you know about that because I actually said I was going to fiddle with it today and it has been out here all day and it has not changed color. So that tells me no silver. So, alrighty, I just wanted to bring you back in on that real quick. Okay, guys, here it is. There is our little button of gold. Um, I'm going to go ahead and toss it on this outside scale. Um, this is actually not as accurate as my one inside, but it'll get us close. Um, we were looking for a half to three quarters of a gram to be happy. Half at the worst, three quarters at the best. So let's see what we got. We almost got a gram. So guys, that's uh, what we got out of our BGA chips. Our next adventure is going to be working on those uh, fingers, which as soon as I think they need one more good day of sunlight, which we haven't had in a couple days, and they'll be good to go. So we'll be back at you when we get to the fingers. Well, hey everybody, it is the next day. Um, the sun has finally broken through. It's been raining for two days. So I'm actually going to go out here real quick to the junk table and check these guys out, see if it's ready for us to do anything with them. Try and not get drowned here when I take the lid off and see how they're doing. I'm thinking we might could there might be a few that are still stuck but it seems like they're pretty pretty loose let me get this over here so I can get some better light I think we can uh, let's see now there's still a few that are stuck pretty good I think it's gonna need another day Maybe if I can leave it out here in the sun most of today. Like I said, the past several days, I haven't been able to let the sun get on it because I've had to keep it covered out here because of the rain. So, let me give them a good stir. And I think we're going to leave them another day. 
and uh, that should free up most of this stuff. So pretty much, I guess, I'll get back to you. See, this, these haven't come loose at all. But anyhow, there's always going to be a couple, one or two like that, that just are tenacious. But for the most part, they're coming loose pretty good. I'd say we're about a good 90-95% with just the, just the mean boys left. So I'm going to give them a stir, mix them up, and put this camera down so I can use both hands. And uh, we'll get back at you when these are ready to go. So it's probably going to be one more day. So we'll be back at you in a bit. Okay guys, uh, it's a nice, kind of a nice day out today. It's a little overcast, nice and cool, kind of cool anyway. Um, most of these are broke loose. I just wanted to show you real quick what I'm doing. This is our first rinse bath, then I move them over into this one. But basically what I do is I just get a tongue full of them like that. And we bring them over here and we put them in here and we rinse them try and get most of the loose foils off of them in this bath and then we shake them off real good and we move them over to this bath and the reason for that is is now after this I'll go through them one at a time out of here and make sure all the foils are off of them so that's what I'm going to be doing for the next probably couple of hours uh, so I'll get back to you when we've got this stuff cleaned up, filtered off, and ready to go into Aqua Regia. So we'll be back at y'all in a bit. Okay guys, there's our ram. We got it all cleaned off. Um, I've already filtered off the AP. Um, I filtered off the first filter water and this is the second one we still got a little bit of gold left in there so we are going to go ahead and just continue filtering that off uh, I've been in I've been trying to get old silver going um, I got it going once and it just keeps it's got some bad cracks in it and I mean it just keeps blowing elements I did I actually did a hand wrapped element and we managed to get it in there and it worked for I don't know 10 minutes and it blew the element again and then I actually used a regular store-bought one which you can see in there right now and it's blown that one twice so for whatever reason I'm pretty sure it's because of these cracks are fairly wide open and uh, what's happening I guess is it's just pulling air into there and superheating that area of the coil and just blowing the coils so I tried I even did another wrap on it covered it and uh, it's just just ain't gonna work uh, it's just a goner so I gotta get me a furnace somehow but anyhow I just that's what I've been doing in between working on stuff when I've been waiting for stuff to filter out I've been working on that thing and it's just it's just dead it ain't gonna it ain't coming back to life so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off get this filtered off um, then I'll get back with you when we're ready to do aqua regia I just wanted to show you where we were at and tell you where, where old silver is for sure a goner <laughs> alrighty guys we'll see you in a bit okay everybody it's the next morning um, there's our spent wards or cut off finger cut offs and there is our filter with all of our foils so I'm going to get this stuff in a beaker um, get it dissolved in aqua regia and then we will drop our gold and see what we got out of these so we will be right back at you in just a bit Okay guys, we are fixing to start our dissolve. I'm going to put a little bit of hydrochloric acid in here on these foils. And then I'm going to start dripping in some nitric acid. And we are going to get our gold. We got 
got about 50 milliliters there, so So we are getting a reaction. I'm going to go ahead and let this just go for a bit. Cover this nitric up so we don't have any accidents. And uh, we'll let this work and see if we need to put it on heat. If we do, I'll get back at you in just a bit. Um, doesn't look like we're going to have to, but we may. Anyhow, so we'll be back at you in just a few. Okay guys, uh, it's been about an hour, um, I st see a little tiny bit of reaction yet left going, very very fine, and I also see some tiny tiny specks of gold. So just for grins and giggles, I'm going to put a couple more drops of nitric in this and leave it sit. We didn't have to uh, put it on the heat, and I'll just have to denox it a a little more but rather be safe than sorry I don't want the lack of a drop or two of nitric to cost us triple that in gold so I'm gonna actually let this go a little bit more um, and then uh, I'll come back out in about another hour and check it just to be sure and then we will filter it off and do our drop get our other button and then uh, melt these together and see what we got so we'll be back at you in a bit got a beautiful color solution make sure we get all of this in here and we are going to rinse this until it runs clear Gotta get all this stuff out of here. Because every little bit of that's gonna have some gold on it. This shouldn't take too long. Just because it's not a you know a huge batch. But what you want to do is like I've always said, just make sure you rinse this till you see no color. You don't want any color coming out down here, and you want this to be clean. As white as it can be, or for whatever color it is, as it can be. It may take a couple times. But that's the main thing you want to do. Make sure you rinse out all that color. Okay, guys, we're going to start denoxing this. I already put a little in it, but uh, we're just going to put a little bit more. And what you do is you just keep adding that till you get no reaction. And that takes out all the nitric acid. If there's nitric acid in it, when you put your sodium metabisulfite in, you're going to have to just keep adding and adding and adding until it finally falls out because your gold will just go back and forth in and out of solution. Um, there's already plenty of water in here compared to what I had, so I'm just going to put the sodium metabisulfite in dry. All right, guys, we're ready to go, and there we go. There's our color change. Once again, our drop is taking a little while. But I see it starting right now, which means we don't have tons and tons of gold in here, but we got some. I'll try not to hit the sides now, because it's falling out. And there it goes. Hope we at least get a gram and a half or so out of this. That would be nice. I don't know what we're going to get yet, but we will see. All 
righty. Definitely got some gold on board that stick. Let me get a gold rag. Get that wiped off and cleaned up. And now it's just time to play the waiting game. So it looks like it's going to drop out pretty fast. So we'll get back at you guys when we see how much gold we got. Okay, everybody, there is our gold. Um, I'm heating up the rinse water right now, and we're going to go ahead and get it rinsed a couple times. Uh, then we're going to get it in a melting dish, melt it off, and see how much gold we got. Then after we see how much we got from this, we'll get that other button that we got from the BGA chips. We'll melt those two together. I will take my cut out of that. So we'll get back at you when we are ready to get this in the dish and get it melted. Okay, guys, there is our gold from the fingers. Um, we are going to go ahead and get it dried as normal. I will time lapse this if necessary because um, first thing we have to do is dry up this dish. We don't want any popping or banging or anything or gold blowing out so I'm sure I'm going to time lapse it so I'll be back at you guys talking in just a few minutes. Well, there we go, guys. So, I'm going to actually just real quick go in and uh, weigh this on the other scale because we have our other one from the first part, which was 0.96 grams. And I need to see what this one weighs. And then we're going to melt the two together and we'll do our split. So, I will be back at you in just a minute. Okay, guys, what we got out of that was we got 1.14 grams. It's a little less than I actually was hoping for. I was actually hoping for about a gram and a half, but, you know, I, it, that all depends on your, you know, the gaps in your fingers and everything else, you know, so it's not going to, that's why I'm saying you can't count on a certain number every time. So I'm going to go ahead and put those two in there melt them together then we are going to do the split Alrighty guys, there it is. That's the complete button. I'm going to go ahead and throw it in the pickle pot, get the borax off of it. Um, and then we will go inside and uh, do our split. So we'll be back at you when we get inside. Okay guys, in the end, how it worked out, um, we got .96 grams off the BGAs. We got uh, 1.14 grams off of the 
the mixed fingers, which gave us a total of 2.1. 25% um, of that is 0.525. I just took a half a gram. I took an even half a gram. This actually weighs 1.6 grams. Instead of him getting 1.575, he's getting 1.6. So what I'm going to do is I am actually going to take a U.S. gold coin. It's scrap, by the way. It can't be used. It's, uh, wait, this is 22 karat gold. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a scratch test on these, and I'm going to hit them both with 22 karat acid, and I'm going to see which one last the longest. If this outlasts this under 22 karat acid, uh, really it should only, it only has to last, you know, 15 seconds or so, 20 seconds or so. You should really use test needles. Using the acid alone without a comparison is not really the proper way to, to test gold. You should actually have a set of carat gold test needles. But that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this 22 karat gold coin and I'm going to put a mark there and I'm going to take this button and I'm going to put a mark there so this is the button this is the coin they actually look different under different light but they are actually the same uh, and we are going to hit this with 22k and this with 22k and we're going to see what happens Okay, this one's starting to fade, which is the coin. This one is holding. The coin is almost gone. It's gone. This one is holding. So I don't have to re-refine that button. That is still holding. It's still holding. This one's long gone, and this is still holding. So, I figured because of the type of material we were doing that we were going to get uh, pure gold or near pure gold. So there's no point in re-refining this. It is awfully small to do that with anyway. Uh, and I am satisfied that that is actually 24 karat gold. It is actually yellower, I don't know if you can see this, than the coin. Let's see if we can get it down here where you can see. This is actually a deeper, richer color than even the coin is. So I am satisfied that that is 24K. Um, it held under 22 acid way longer than this coin held. So I believe we are good to go on that. Um, I may hammer it out so I can mark it. Uh, or I'm actually going to send him an email and see if he just wants the button as is. Put my gold coin back back and as of so far this year just a quickie to show you this one still has to be refined but there's our gold for the year so far not so much as we had last year but we still got a little bit of time left and like I said I still have to refine this out I'm guesstimating this piece is probably around 16 to 18 karat gold so three quarters of that will be gold pure gold um, Anyhow, if, uh, if he wants it hammered and marked, I will hammer it out and mark it, and I'll put a picture of it at the end of the video. So guys, that's going to wrap it up. Appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed this refine, and we will be moving on to our next one. So we'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.